Welcome to BM Sculptures. I'm Blake, and today we're going to be building a life-size bison for the Henry Vila Zoo. I start this sculpture off by welding the massive horns of the bison using stainless steel. Each one of these horns weighs around 10 pounds and took me a full week to complete. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I love carving them, usually out of pink insulation foam. I recently discovered these polyurethane foam taxidermy forms and I wanted to see if this could possibly work. I quickly found out that this foam is highly flammable and after every single weld I started one of these fires. Luckily after the first flame sprung up I got smart and had a spray bottle as well as a fire extinguisher nearby ready to go. I wanted to change the angle of the head of this bison, so I basically cut a bunch of different wedges and then I put the head and neck at different angles and orientations and ended up having to recut the neck and wedges about five or six times in order to get it exactly how I wanted. I'm thickening up certain parts of the bison using this spray foam because these parts I want to cover with fur or thousands of shreds of tires to depict the fur of the bison. There's no way I'd be able to get this thickness with just using the tires so this spray foam works really really well. This time around, now knowing that this foam is extremely flammable, I decided to put some aluminum tape where I plan to weld. That way I can hopefully prevent some fires from happening. And that didn't work at all. I mean, it is a little bit smaller of a flame, so I guess it helped, but it's still caught on fire. Thank you. 
Here's your first pro tip of the day. If you spray this foam with a mist of water, it will actually cure faster. I decided to give this bison some aluminum armor to protect it from fiberglassing. The resin in fiberglassing will actually eat away the spray foam, however it won't eat away the polyurethane foam. Once it gets back from fiberglassing, I paint the entire thing black and then it's time to start with these stainless steel eyeballs. And now after a full three weeks of working on this thing, I finally get to start laying on some recycled tires. I love being able to incorporate some recycled materials to my sculptures and bike shops have piles and piles of these recycled tires just heaped up because they actually have to pay to get rid of these tires. So I'm doing them a favor by taking these off their hands. As I'm working underneath this bison, I realize I forgot a very important detail. Times like these I just think, what a weird job I have. But someone's got to do it. And here is one of my favorite parts of every sculpture, turning these dirty, crusty old bike tires into brand spanking new by using a little bit of foam and pressure washing.
And here's one of the most tedious parts of every sculpture, and that is touching up and painting and hiding the thousands upon thousands of staples that are on this sculpture. There's really no other way of doing this. I've tried painting the staples beforehand, but they end up... Hey, wake up, dude. Wake up. They end up shattering upon impact because it comes out at such a velocity. So the clear coat's done and the sculpture's pretty much done, or so I thought. Once I think I'm done with the sculpture, I always go back online to look up real pictures of the animal and see if I made any mistakes, and I found two pretty big flaws that I need to address right now. The first part is the bison's neck. If you look here, you can see the longest fur is under the neck, and on mine I have this U-shaped and not very long fur or tire fur, so I'm going to go ahead and refill all of this fur. And secondly, this thing is just too distracting. I've had a few people over to look at the sculpture and every one of them noticed it instantly and said something about it. This is something that's going to be in a public setting and the last thing I want is for kids or, or just a bunch of people to notice that and not the entire sculpture. So I just decided to be best to take it off. Thank you guys so much for watching this far into the video. I had a quick question before the final reveal. What do you guys prefer watching? The tire sculptures or metalworking, tire working, or the epoxy wood sculptures? Let me know down in the comments. Super interested to see what you guys like best. Okay, let's go get to the big reveal. I hope you guys liked watching this sculpture come to life, and if you're ever at the Henry Vila Zoo, be sure to check it out in person. I'm Blake from BM Sculptures. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing.